So, you're ready to give feedback or have discussions in Confluence using comments. I'm Matt Reiner with K15T, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to get a discussion going, how to move from feedback to action, and how to use comments like a pro. If feedback is the driver, then comments are like the car. And just like with cars, there's a few different types your team can use. The first is called an inline comment, which is like when you select text and you hit comment here. This is a really great way to have conversations around a really specific piece of content. Another option your team has is the page level comments area down here at the bottom. Page comments are a great place to have a broader discussion around the entire piece of content. However you comment with your teammates, make sure you use an at mention like I did here. We want to bring our teammates into the discussion and by adding an at mention, they'll get a notification in their inbox, in Confluence, or in the Confluence app. So, how do you keep feedback from becoming an overwhelming mess for your team? Well, there's a few rules of thumb you can follow. The first is, when you're responding in an inline comment, make sure you at mention the person you're responding to. And then in the message that you give them, the feedback, whatever you're leaving in your comment, make sure that it's actionable and precise. Don't answer a question with a question. Remember the goal here is for the person to be able to resolve the comment at the end. And let me tell you, nothing feels better than resolving a comment. Ah. And by the way, if you're looking for all the comments that have been resolved and, and uh, worked on over the course of the page's life, you can find that up here in the resolved comments area. Another good rule of thumb is around page comments. Page level comments stick around for the life of the page, so you really want to make sure they are kept neat and orderly. So when you're replying to a question, always use this reply button. Make sure you at mention the person you're replying to and give great detail in your response. Also, this is a threaded discussion. You can see that uh, one person is responding to the other. If you're going to start a brand new discussion, you can write a new comment on the page. This starts a brand new thread where people can come in and respond and give feedback. This is really important because anyone who comes and looks at the page later will be able to clearly see what was the question, what did we talk about, and what was the decision that we made. And again, remember, these stick around for the life of the page, so you don't want to add too many of these. You really want them to be valuable for everyone who's reviewing the page in the future. To comment or not to comment? That is the question. And here are a few tips you can use to make sure that your comments are used in the very best way possible. First of all, ask yourself, do I actually need to comment right now? Always consider whether or not you should give feedback on something and how is the best way to do that. Remember, comments can pile up, especially if you have a large team. And if you find yourself leaving masses of comments and lengthy ones at that, that might be a signal to you that you need to sit down with your colleague or do a video call and talk things through rather than filling a page full of comments. If you're proofreading or copy editing a page, it makes the most sense sometimes to just directly edit the page when you find issues like typos and mistakes. This is especially nice because no one who asks for feedback wants to come back to a page and find 50 comments saying, put a comment here. I've never done that to anyone. Instead, it's really helpful for a lot of writers for you to make the changes. And of course, talk with the writer that you're giving feedback to to see what they're comfortable with. Maybe they're only comfortable with fixing small typos, or maybe they're comfortable with you revising their sentences to make sure they're grammatically correct. If you see a comment you like, hit the like button on it. This is a really underrated feature in Confluence, but we find it's really useful for acknowledging the great work of our teammates or to confirm that yes, I agree with this thing that you just said. And not only is it easy to do, it's totally free. Add those likes and send out that positive message within your team. High five. This has been a really quick look at how we use comments to give and receive really great feedback at K15T. I hope it helps your team as well. We've talked about how to get started with comments, how to turn those comments into action, and how to use those comments like a pro. At K15T, these techniques have worked well for us as we're creating content regularly, but let us know in the comments below what tips and techniques worked best for your team and why. And of course, there is a lot more to talk about with Confluence. And at K15T, we always like to comment on that. So 
hit that subscribe button below, grab the link and share it with your colleagues for some feedback and join us as we continue to explore how to get the best of Confluence.